it's a very good morning so welcome to all of you to your math class so you all are very brave in such a cold weather in the first period you are attending the class regularly so all credit and all uh, appreciation for you people chali any how so we have uh, uh, done the first mayor of central tendency that is me now we are going to start with the second actually yesterday i was discussing median but i uh, now noticed that 14.2 it is uh, you can say related with the mid uh, mod so first of all we will do this uh, second mayor of central tendency as mod right so earlier what we did when the data is in the form of uh, you can say frequency ungrouped frequency distribution ungrouped frequency distribution means you are giving the data like this 2 4 6 8 9 9 and uh, its uh, corresponding frequencies are given 5 6 7 9 9 then 10 and we were asked that uh, which of the following is going to be the which value of of the observation is going to be the mode of the data then directly we did it using the definition of the mode that mode is that value which occurs more, a maximum number of time in the data that means which occurs most frequently in the data so we see that the fre maximum frequency is 10 and accordingly the mod will be 9 such kind of questions we did it earlier that how to find the mod when data is ungrouped frequency distribution table ungrouped frequency distribution table means where the uh, values the observations they are not bound under any interval right chali let us start that how to find the mod of the data when when the data is in the form of grouped frequency distribution so let me take one example suppose the data is given like this 1 to 3 3 to 5 5 to 7 7 to 9 and 9 to 11 and accordingly frequency number of families that is frequency 7 8 2 2 1 this is a frequency of the data and we want to find mod of this data kya hum find karna chahte hain we want to find mod of this data so what will be the first step for finding out mod of this data you just have to find the uh, first of all let me write the formula in front of you what is the formula to find the mode mode is equal to l this name minute wait mode is equal to l plus f1 minus f0 f1 minus f0 upon 2 f1 Minus f naught minus f two multiply by h. This is the formula for the mode. ये वाला formula हमने mode के लिए use करना है. L plus f one minus f naught over two f one minus f naught minus f two multiply by h. Now the question is before proceeding the calculation of the mode for this data, let us see that what for what this l f1 f0 and f2 stands in this formula first of all this l l stands for the lower limit of l stands l stands for the lower limit of l stands for lower limit of model class now what is this model class this is the first word that comes in our mind when we describing this formula that what is this model class let me tell you that what is the meaning of model class in this question 
model class will be you see this is the frequency this is the column of frequency you see the maximum frequency it occurs here eight so the class corresponding to class intervals you bolte hain so in short it is called class also so this is the maximum frequency that uh, uh, this data is having and corresponding to this maximum frequency this interval is there so we will say that as 8 uh, 3 to 5 interval 3 to 5 has maximum frequency maximum frequency therefore model class is equal to model class is equal to 3 to 5 now some of the students they might have uh, this doubt in their mind that uh, if there is there are two classes which are having the same uh, you can say frequency or the two classes to usko hum bimodal series keh dete hain wo hamare syllabus mein nahi hai bimodal series chaliye so ye hua hamare paas model class 3 to 5 this is the model class of the data so i am saying l is the lower limit of the model class l is the lower limit of the model class so yahan pe jo hamara l hai वो लोअर लिमिट है मॉडल क्लास का यानी कि ये हुआ थ्री थ्री इट स्टैंड फॉर एल हेयर नाउ वट आर दीज एफ वन एफ नोट एफ टू एंड ऑल दैट एंड वट इज दिस एच लेट एस एक्सप्लेन सो नाउ दिस एफ वन एज यू आर गेटिंग दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी मैक्सिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी कॉलम जैसे आपके पास मैक्सिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी जो है वो आ गई आपने क्या करना है फटाफट से उसके आगे लिख देना है एफ वन एफ के नीचे Fix one F one. This will be the this will stand for F one. That means frequency of the model class that is going to play the role of F one. Frequency of the model class is going to play the role for F one. Now very easy. We know that in mass one ke piche zero hota hai. So we will take it to be F zero. एफ नोट बोलते हैं इसको वैसे पर मैंने उसको थोड़ा सीरीज में रखा हुआ है कि वन के पीछे जीरो सो दिस इज एफ जीरो एंड वन इज फॉलोड बाय टू सो दिस विल बी एफ टू सो दिस इज वेरी इजी टू डिटेक्ट एफ नोट एंड एफ टू इफ यू आर डिटेक्टिंग एफ वन केयरफुली सो एफ वन विल बी द फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ द मॉडल क्लास एंड द प्रीवियस वन वन के पीछे जीरो है फटाफट से अपने टेबल में ऐसे लिख लो सो दैट देर शुड नॉट बी एनी काइंड ऑफ कंफ्यूजन so f1 preceding with f0 and succeeding with f2 this is a way to detect f1 f0 f2 for the formula of the mode when we are finding out the mode of grouped frequency distribution this is grouped frequency distribution why so why we call it to be grouped frequency distribution because here the data is occurring under some groups intervals right so now h is left can anyone tell me what for what h stands in case of uh, questions related to statistics for what h stands in case of questions related to statistics anyone please raise your hand akhilesh can you tell that for what h stands in case of questions related to statistics yes akhilesh are you listening me or you are just sleeping by switch on by making your class just uh, matlab on and uh, sleeping chaliye any how anshika se puchte hain anshika you tell for what h stands ma'am class size h is class size very good h is class size or class width or class length and uh, anyone can you tell me what will be the class size here हरसिमरन कौर रोल नंबर ट्वेल्व बच्चे अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ हरसिमरन कौर रोल नंबर ट्वेल्व बेटे प्लीज अनम्यूट किया करो अपने आप को यहाँ पे कोई आपको वो सजा थोड़ा मिलने लगी गलत आने वो बोलने पे हरसिमरन कौर यस यस सर सिमरन how to find the class size of these interval what will be the class size of these interval 
two will be the class size because any interval these all all are of equal width equal length so you can take the class size by using the formula upper limit minus lower limit kisi bhi interval mein aap upper limit minus lower limit karoge you will get h to be 2 now all the values all the things that are to be used in the formula that are available in front of you so you can put the value of l to be 3 you can replace f1 by 8 f0 by 7 and f2 by 2 And multiply by h. H is the class size. Okay, so this way we can find out. Keshav Kalra is not there, na? Anyhow, shall we? So this is the way to find the mode of the data. This is the formula. We did. We have two formulas. We already did uh, done for uh, mean, and this is the third formula that is going for mode. chale let us do some questions related to this and i am going to start with exercise uh, 6.2 one question i will teach and two question i will give you as homework chaliye so i am going to discuss question number 5 page number 276 fifth question Exercise fourteen point two. Question number fifth. It is related to more. So first column is runs scored. First column is runs scored, and the next column is number of batsmen, number of. Runs score number of batsmen. चलिए. So runs score they are given in the intervals three thousand to four thousand, then four thousand to five thousand, then five thousand to six thousand, six thousand. To seven thousand, seven thousand to eight thousand, eight thousand to nine thousand, nine thousand to ten thousand, and ten thousand to eleven thousand. These are the runs score, and number of batsmen. Uh, very much large, uh, you can say, uh, the total runs. Data is given three thousand to four thousand, four thousand to five thousand, and and last interval is ten thousand to eleven thousand. Number of batsmen it stand for frequency. Number of anything stands for frequency. So I am marking it to be F, and the corresponding values are four, eighteen, and then nine, then seven, then six, then three, one, and one. These are the corresponding frequencies. so first of all we have to choose the model class so model class here uh this is the maximum frequency 18 here 4000 to 5000 is having maximum frequency that is 18 4000 to 5000 is having maximum frequency that is 18 therefore model class this is equals to 4000 to 5000 so this is very important when you are counting the model class you are detecting the model class just look it very carefully detect it very carefully because according to this your question your solution is going to be followed so if you are detecting it wrongly the whole question will get wrong values of f1 s f0 f uh, f2 every everything will get wrong and you will get zero marks so this class is to be detected very carefully so now this is l lower limit of the model class and uh, i told you fatafat se isko aap keh do f1 and the previous one is f0 and the followed one is f2 these are the values of the particular things that we have to put in the formulas so h class size you can easily see upper limit minus lower limit any of the interval you can pick and you see this is 1000 
अपर लिमिट माइनस लोअर लिमिट आप सीधा भी लिख सकते हो जरूरी नहीं होता कि आपने निकाल के दिखाना सो लेट एस पुट दीज वैल्यूज इन द फॉर्मूला सो यू आर रिप्लेसिंग इट एल द लोअर लिमिट एंड इट कम्स आउट टू बी ओ सॉरी यहां पे मैंने चलो एनी हाउ चलो ऐसे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा पर ऊपर इंटरवल दूसरा लिखा हुआ है ना थोड़ी मेरे को कंफ्यूजन हुई है इसलिए मैं इसमें यही वाला इंटरवल लिख देती हूँ सो एल इज द लोअर लिमिट सो दिस इज फोर थाउजेंड आप ना इसे या इसको निकालने के लिए रहने देना सीधा ही लिखना है एच इज थाउजेंड क्योंकि फिर कंफ्यूजन क्रिएट होगी ऐसे एच इज थाउजेंड हैड इट बीन अनदर इंटरवल देन दैट ऑफ द मॉडर्न क्लास यू माइट गेट कंफ्यूज बाय राइटिंग बाय मिस्टेक यू कैन टेक द वैल्यू फ्रॉम दिस इंटरवल सो बेटर टू राइट इट डायरेक्टली सो दिस इज फोर थाउजेंड प्लस वैल्यू ऑफ एफ वन इज एटीन माइनस एफ नोट दिस इज फोर over 2f1 that is 2 multiply 18 minus f node that is 4 minus f2 that is equal to 9 replacing the values and this is 1000 so this way we have replaced the values of all the uh, you can say required ones in the formula so let us proceed further for the calculations this is 4000 plus this is 14 over 36 minus 9 and 4 13 In two thousand, like this. So further, this is equal to four thousand plus fourteen upon twenty-three into thousand. Four thousand plus fourteen upon twenty-three into thousand. so further let us do the calculations this is equal to 4000 plus multiply kar do 14000 upon 23 let us take the lcm 23 will be taken as lcm 23 into 4 92 plus 14 Plus fourteen thousand, right? So this will be one zero eight triple zero over twenty three. So divide it, you will get the answer in decimal. and every time when you are getting such an expression you have to get the answer in the decimal form by doing the division and when you will do the division you will be getting the answer to be 4608.7 this is called this is answer for the mode of the given data so formula you should remember and you should know what for what l f1 f0 f2 and h stands in this given formula so two questions i am giving you as homework question number 4 and uh, question number 2 this you will do as homework now let us start with the next measure of central tendency mode what define mode mode ki definition hame aati hai mode is the most frequently occur you can say मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली अकर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ द डेटा आप देखो जो आपका मोड का आंसर आएगा ना वट एवर मॉडल क्लास यू आर डिटेक्टिंग the answer will fall in that class you were saying that model class is this so your answer 4608.7 uh, it truly lies in the model class had it been something else that means it doesn't lie in the model class that means you must have done mistake somewhere so this is very important to see whether whatever mod value you are getting that falls in the model class 
or no so let us start with the next major of central tendency better known as median 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 is that measure of central tendency which divides the data into two equal parts 50% observation lies above it and 50% observation lies below it so you know we did the median in the case of uh, you can say raw data simple data so like uh, this so if there are five observation then the median is the middle value that the value of n plus 1 by 2th observation and uh, when the number of observation is uh, they are becoming even then the median is mean of the middle two and uh, values this we did earlier everyone uh, do you know this ye formula sabko aata hai median ka That if the number of observations are odd, then the center value, that means value of n by two plus one nth and n plus one by two th observation, and if n is odd even, then the value of uh, n by two th plus n by two plus one nth observation over two will give you the value of the median. So this you did earlier, and uh, this is not the case here. We have to detect. We have to learn that how to detect the median when the uh, the data is given in terms of frequency distribution. now there are two kind of frequency distribution one is a grouped frequency distribution another is a ungrouped frequency distribution ungrouped frequency distribution is that distribution in which the uh, data is not given in the interval form simple values corresponding frequencies they are given to us and grouped frequency distribution is that distribution in which data is given in terms of intervals with the corresponding frequencies actually only one question that is two in the example i was telling you yesterday also that page number 277 there is one example which is ungrouped frequency distribution uh, of which median is to be find out right and there is no question in the exercise of such sort such kind in which uh, you have to find uh, the median for such kind of data so we will take this example under consideration first let us start table number 14.9 marks obtained and the corresponding frequencies they are given to us and you know whenever we have to find the median for the raw data it was told to you that you have to arrange the data either in ascending or in descending order before proceeding the calculation similarly here also we have to convert the data in ascending order so i am going to convert the data i am writing the data in ascending order and uh, you can see marks obtained marks obtained and then first is marks obtained then is uh, number of students number of students that stands for frequency we all know so marks obtained i am arranging them in ascending order 20 25 28 29 33 38 42 and 43 now you know when you are arranging the data in ascending order one mistake the students uh, they uh, do that they are arranging the data in ascending order and they are writing the frequency of the previous data for example uh, in the given data 20s frequency was 6 and 29s frequency was 28 rather agar hum search kare 25 लास्ट में है और उसकी फ्रीक्वेंसी uh, 20 है सो so, जैसे जैसे आपने वैल्यूज लिखी हैं, सर्च आउट करके यू हैव टू राइट द फ्रीक्वेंसीज कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंगली सो 20 की फ्रीक्वेंसी आई एम राइटिंग इट टू बी 6, 25 की 20 एंड देन 24 एंड देन 28, देन 15, देन इट इज 4, देन इट इज 2, देन इट इज 1, दिस इज अ टोटल दैट इज 100. टोटल ऑफ ऑल दीज फ्रीक्वेंसीज इट इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड so this data is given so first step we did that means we have find out the you can say uh, 
we have arranged the data into ascending order. Now, one thing is very important. First of all, you have to see that this total of the frequencies, it is what kind of number? That means you have to differentiate it as a, uh, you have to define it as an even or odd number. So it is very clear that 100, this is the even number. So you will say N. What is N here? Sum of all the frequencies. Sum of all the frequencies. Sorry, frequencies ka sum. And this is 100 and which is even. So when sum of all, number of observations waha pe jab even hoti thi, hum uske accordingly we deal with the, we apply the formula. But here we will take number of observation, not number of observation. We are taking sum of all the frequencies that is 100. Okay? That is true. That is also number of observation. That is data is uh, telling us about 100 students' performance. So number of observation here is 100. Okay? That is satisfy that thing. So this means that the median ka formula aega, median is equal to n by 2th observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation over 2. Yani ki isko 2 se divide kiya 50, 50th plus 51th observation jo hai, uska mean aapko median ki answer tak pohunchayega. Yehi formula hota hai, n by 2th observation plus n by 2th plus 1th observation. Hum bachon ko is formula ka formula hum avoid hi karte hain. We directly write it that uh, n by 2 is 50. So mean will be, median will be 50th plus 51th. Fata fata se usse ek agali jaake. 50th observation plus 51th observation over 2. Now the question is, when the data, data was uh, raw data, we did it earlier. Then first, fata fata se hum 50 number pe jaake dekh lete te ki kaun betha hua hai. That is 50th observation. We look at 51th observation. 51th place pe jaake kaun betha hai. We place the values and accordingly we are getting. Now the question is, which uh, value will stand for the 50th observation here and which value will stand for 51st observation here that is going to be the uh, you can say something which is different so wahi batane ki koshish ab main aapko karungi and this i have to rub now, H is yaad rakna, median wave, one column we will create from our cell and that is going to be the backbone of the solution. What is that column? Let me tell you. In median, you will be given two columns. One is the, you can say intervals, yaan pe intervals nahi hai, yaan pe sirf values hai. And another is the number of the thing. First, uh, uh, third column that we will create, that is for CF. CF stands for Cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency. C O double M U L A T I V E. Cumulative frequency. So, what is this cumulative frequency? This is something new that we are going to learn. This is something new that we are going to learn. Cumulative frequency means sum of the frequency up to a limit. Kaise? Agar mein up to 20 ke marks, matlab 20 marks, up to 20, matlab mein nene ke limit jo hai, usko fix kar liya, ki up to 20, 6 students ke marks aane hai. So, community frequency is column ki 6 hi hoi. Agar mein aapko kahu, mein up to word yaha pe add kar rin. Uh, if we see cumulative frequency of the first, uh, you can say interval uh, is 6, that means I'm talking about up to 20. When I up to word, I add kar diya. Ab yaan pe mein likh hu, up to 25. Up to 25 marks, kitne bachon ke aai? To kya karoge? 6 students, they were scoring up to 20, uh, 20 and 20 students, they were scoring up to 25. You add this 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 will be 26 up to 28 26 ke up to 25 and to up to 28 isko add kar do. this will be 50 
add 28 to 50, this will be 78. 15 to 78. 93, 93 plus 4, 97, 97 plus 2, 99 plus 100. That means if after making the cumulative frequency column, the last cumulative frequency, it is the same as the total number of students. That means most probably your cumulative frequency column is very much Okay, very much right. Pehli baat to ye, ki agar aapki last wali cumulative frequency, sum of frequency ke saath coincide kar rahi hai, to aapka jo cumulative frequency ka column hai, ye thik hai. So if I'm saying that the cumulative frequency up to 25 is 26, yani ki up to 25, there are 26 students who are scoring uh, up to 25 marks. Up to 28, matlab, up to 28 marks score करने वाले 50 students हैं. So, cumulative frequency कर, find करने का हमारा method हो गया, that starting with the same frequency and adding the preceding one, you will create the cumulative frequency. Is it okay that how to find cumulative frequency for a data? Right? Chalye, now, what is the role of this cumulative frequency in finding out the median? I told you here n is equal to 100. So median, this is equal to value of n by 2th observation plus value of n by 2 plus 1th observation over 2. This was the formula for the median. n ki value put karo, n ki value 100 thi. So ye bani value of 50th observation plus value of 51th observation over 2. Now the question is, from where we will pick this 50th and 51st observation? Kaha se leke aye hum 50th or 51 observation? You just have to see the cumulative frequency If there occurs any value whose cumulative frequency is 50, any value as cumulative frequency to be 50, yes, it is there. Uh, had it been not uh, there, suppose 50 wahan pe nahi hota, to hum usse immediately badi wali dekhte. Chik hai? So 50 yahan pe hai. So 50 ke corresponding jo aapke marks hoonge, Tehi aapki 50th observation banke a jayegi. That will be your 50th observation. Or utse immediately aage wali observation, that is 29, that will play the role of 51st observation. Right? So 28 plus 29 upon 2, do the calculation, this will be 28.5, and this is the value for the median. Jab ye uh, question, if it is not in the interval form, then the students find it little, little difficult. In the next period, today we are we are having two period. Last period is also of mass. Hope so that all the 35 students who are joining, hope so, yeah, you have to. So please join in that class also. We'll see that how to find the median in case of the interval-based data, right? So here you just have to see that cumulative frequency, it's going to play a vital role in finding out the median. So you just have to find n, if n is even, then the median will be the, you know, n by 2, that means 50th, 50th observation plus 51 of observation by 2. How to find 50th observation? Just to see cumulative frequency, if it is 50, corresponding value will be the 50th observation and the next value will be 51. If had 15 been not be there, it would have been the next value to the 50. We will continue in the sixth period, right? So do attend your classes regularly. That is going to be very important being board class.